Yo, what's good YouTube? As you can tell, we got the new packs. And my voice sounds dead. I am sorry about that. But I also just went four minutes of thinking I was recording, but I wasn't, so. That's fun. Thankfully, I caught it halfway through. So, we got Adam Dunn here as our first card. Now, you probably already know all the cards. It's just a matter of, do you know their stats or not? Adam Dunn. Looks like a great option. And maybe left or right field. Don't know about first base. Because with Big Poppy and Jim Tolman, that's two good ones right there. Then you could put Lou Gehrig there if you really wanted to. Then you got Adam Dunn. So, you got options now. Now, he's already going for 50k. I mean, I doubt he's going to stay there. Probably going to go for like more 40k. Because a lot of people are going to want to pull these packs. I don't think a lot of people are going to choose him though. Not going to choose him. <clears throat> but, then you got JV over here. He looks like a decent card. But, can you keep up with the new um, Stage 2 Team Affinities? That is a question we have to find out sooner rather than later. Not really. Because he's a 95 overall. He's not... I don't know if this can be his best card or not. It's probably not. So don't get too comfy with just his 95. I assume they're going to drop a 99. But you never know. I'm um, going for 56k. There's a control. Don't never throw a 12-6. Yeah. Not the best break on his pitches. Then you got Harold Baines. Harold Baines. Know nothing about him at all. Looks like a decent card to be honest. Now. Would you would I put him in my outfield? Hell no. But you might like him. I don't know. You might like he might have a glitchy swing. We don't know. But I'd rather if I want my outfield, I'd probably have Trout, Acuna, who else? Byron Buxton. Who else? Alfonso Soriano. Like th those guys all have good fielding. I think maybe not Alfonso, but uh, that fielding there. Probably ain't gonna probably ain't gonna be that good. Rob Dipple, the glitch of last year's game. He came out back at I think like last May too. Like either last May or last June. One of the two. Mans was an end game card. He stayed in everyone's bullpen till the end. Such a good card. The only thing about him this year is people have seen him so much last year they might know how to hit him. Stats look almost identical to last year. Look at the control on this card. 95 on the fastball, so you're going to dot up people with that fastball. Slider, actually decent control. 75 controls, I mean, it's like, eh. But, like, it's still doable. Then you got pitch break. That slider is going to fool people. Then you got the cutter. Don't low in on someone on a righty-righty matchup. Easy. Easy. But it's just going to be too easy. Once you parallel this card, it's going to get even better. It's going to be the most expensive one by far. Honest Wagner. Doesn't look like that good of a card, to be honest. But what are you really expecting from Hannes Wagner at a 90 overall? We're used to the 99 one from 19. So, that's what I think when I think of Hannes Wagner. Then you got Travis Dionard. Mans looks like a stud bench player. That's it. That's it. Never going to be on my lineup. Ever. Mm-mm. I'm a Braves fan. Never going to be on my lineup. Darren O'Day. Actually, card people will probably use. Like, like um... Like that, um, kids who are assholes will definitely use him. Now, he doesn't have a ton of velocity at all. Gotta keep that in mind. So people can't, ta he, they can't time him up. Remember that, but he does have good per nines. Like, actually pretty good per nines control is so-so. I mean, he's got good control on everything except the change-up, so. Just be careful with the change-up. Then the break, that slider, is gonna be filthy. But, you never know. Then we got Bill Mazeroski. Oh, he plays second base? I didn't even know that. He's got great fielding. Kind of respectable hitting. Actually, it's pretty respectable. Pretty respectable, actually. If you parallel him to five, he's going to have over 80. He's going to have 80s across the board or higher. But this card actually looks decent. Good fielding and everything. If you don't have... Jackie or any of the best ones. Because I know I don't. 
This guy might be a decent guy, going for 10k. And you got Rod Carew. They screwed him up. Usually he has good power against righties and none against lefties. That's not what they thought with this card. Don't recommend him at all. Don't even try picking him up unless you need him for Mo. Rick Porcello. He's just a control guy. He's going to get rocked. That's all I got to say. Look, at He's got good control and decent break, but he's going to get lit up. Wait, what? 74 miles on that curb? God damn. Slow. He is slow. Then we got those 94 overall Pedro Martinez. I don't know how I feel about that um, walks per night. Don't know how I feel about that at all. But he's got very good stamina, very respectable per nines, at least per Ks and hits per nines. Home runs and walks per nines, not looking too good. The clutch is alright, control is alright, velocity is alright. Good break. I mean, he's actually got a pretty good pitch mix. Not the best control on the curveball at all. And he's got good break across the board, so... I don't know. I wonder how much he's gone for. Probably like 40k. Oh, he's gone for 60k? Hell no. He's gonna go down in price. He's gonna go down in price. Why would people pay 60 for that card? Wait, I just realized, what's that gonna do to this card? Yeah, it's down to 35k. Look, this card has, in my opinion, better pair nines. Just saying. Now, that's with... 3 plus parallel attributes, but still. I kind of prefer the 88 over the 94, if I'm going to be honest. Because it has better per 9s except the hits per 9. I kind of prefer him more. Now, the pitch mixes might be better than the other ones, so I don't know. But I don't feel like spending extra stubs on him when I already got a pitch from Martinez. Until it's a 99, I'm not going to buy that one. Now, what else came out? I think I heard something that was like a new player program. Is that right? Learn how you can keep your oh no! Okay, that's what it was. Okay. So if you didn't know, the new daily moments came out today. And with these new daily moments, you can get your third Giambi, your second in both of these, and you also get these new Ozzy Smith and Gary Carter, Carter cards. Bleh. Ozzy Smith... He's gonna suck, I can tell you that right now. I can tell you that right now. And then you got the Zach Britton card, which actually looks looks pretty filthy. Pretty filthy. And then you got the controller, very good control. Break's not that good on Thor's team, but that same card's just gonna be unreal. Because it also has Outlier. This card's gonna be... He's gonna be in everyone's bullpen for a while. <laughs> he's gonna be in everyone's bullpen. And once you parallel him, he's gonna parallel... Up pretty high. Um, then you, here I'll show you the Ozzy Smith. <sighs> yeah, the speed it's 87, 91, and 87. That's the three you can't see. Yeah, just don't even. Don't even think about putting him on your team. Don't even. Gary Carter, you might be able to put him on your team, but I still wouldn't recommend it. The only reason you do those is to get cards for the big collections. But with that being said, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, tonight I'm going to be streaming some more Team Affinity. I already have one done. And I'm probably going to work on the um, AL Central next. Either I'm going to do Conquest or just a shit ton of Showdown. So be on the lookout for that. I'll show you who I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get Garrett Crochet and Jim Tomei. His other guys can suck my dick. <laughs> nah, but like, I'll link my Twitch in the bio if I haven't already said that. So yeah, kind of thing. What else I can say? Not much else to really say except do your dailies because that Zach Britton actually looks pretty filthy. And my team is soon gonna get a big boost. Laddie's gonna be gone. Nick Man's gonna be gone, and Freeman's gonna be gone. So yeah. Lazardo's gone, and yeah, I might have to take Pedro off my rotation too. Might have to. But yeah, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see y'all.
on my Twitch, hopefully, and my stream. We're going to be streaming for a couple hours, probably, so be ready for that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.